guys, it's Mansell here. Today we're going to be checking out the Frightmares, and I have four of these to show you today, because I picked these up from Toots Toys, and if you want to go and check out the awesome new Monster Highs that have in stock, I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below. And we'll start off by taking a look at Fret's Quartz Main, and I love the packaging that these come in. And beside her name we have the Frightmares logo, which is a little horseshoe with back wings on it. And due to small parts, these dolls have been recommended for ages 6 and up. On the right hand side of the box we have the Monster High logo, and going down the right side it says Monster High. On the back of the box we have this beautiful artwork of Fretz. And to the right of that, it says deep in the catacombs below Monster High lives a fantastically fashionable race of four hooved creatures called Frightmares. Don't rein in your curiosity, go to monsterhigh.com to find out more. And in the bottom right we have a bit about Fretz, and it says it's all about the hoof beats for me. I'm always trotting out the latest tunes, and I love it when one of my friends yells, hey I know that song. And here she is out of the box, and I think she's really cool. And she also can move her head, and her arms, and her waist, and of course her legs. Okay, so we'll go ahead now and take a look at her hair. It's long and red, it's part of the middle, it also has black streaks in it. And I'll just give you a view of that from the back. And here is a view from the back, and of course you can see more of the black streaks there. On top of her head we have her horns, and they kind of remind me of thumbs. And I really love her features and makeup, and she has grey skin with these cool wings on the back. And check out her awesome tail, it's kind of like a fin on the end done in pink. And she even has a pink cutie mark on her left hide. Her eyes are also really pretty, they're done in purple, and she's wearing dark grey eyeshadow with red lipstick. Her outfit is also really cute, she's wearing this pink top with black stripes, and this little mini skirt which is done in silver, and it's also removable. On her front legs she's wearing pink leg warmers, and they have chain stars and stud designs on them, as well as little horseshoes. And these are also removable. On her tail she's wearing a little black rose. And here is a view of her from the back. Now we'll check out Bay Tide Chaser, and I just love the artwork in the back of the box. And the little hoof prints at the bottom there. On the back of the box we have her artwork, and also a bit about her. And it says I unlive for the ocean, wind in my mane, and the waves on my hooves. I mean, is there anything better than a gallop on the beach at dawn? And here is Bay out of the box, and again she is really pretty. She has long green hair with turquoise streaks. And I'll just give you a view of her here from the back. Going down the centre of her head we have this green coral, and it kind of looks like a mohawk. Her body is done in two different colours, the top half is done in a mint green, and the bottom half is done in a turquoise. She also has light green eyes with dark green eyebrows, and she's wearing green and pink eyeshadow with turquoise lipstick. I think her wings are really pretty, they're in the shape of fins, and they're done in pink and gradiate out to blue. Her top is done in a coral pink, and it has a seahorse print on it. Her belt is really cool, it's done in gold and it's made from a lifesaver, and it has coral hanging from it. And this is also removable. She also has matching leg warmers with bits of seaweed hanging from them. 
And here's an up close look at her tail, again it's in the shape of a fin, and her cutie mark is very nautical when it's done in pink. And here's what she looks like from the other side. Next up we have Pixis prep stocking, and again I'm just loving the artwork in the background. And here are some more of her artwork on the back. And we also have some information about her, and it says I'm a classically trained trotter, and I love precision mixed with artistry. Watching me go through my paces is like spending a night at the ballet. And here she is up close, and she has pink hair and a high ponytail, and she's also wearing a riding hat which is done in blue. The top half of her body is done in a pink, and the lower half is done in purple. She also has purple eyes and purple eyebrows, and she has green eyeshadow with pink lipstick. Her wings have feathers on them, and they are done in silver. Her top is done in pink, and it has a collar with buttons down the front, and it has a print of two horses on the left hand side done in purple. Her belt is done in black with three buckles, and it also has show ribbons on it. Her leg warmers are done in silver, and one has a show ribbon on it. And the other one has a shield with a horseshoe. Her cutie mark is also done in silver, and again it has another shield on it. And check out her tail, it's done in a bright pink. And last up we have Ari Evenfall. And this is her artwork on the back of the box. And to the right of her artwork it says, The darkest nights bring out the brightest stars, and there's nothing better to do than watch the twinkling bird galloping across the midnight sky. And here she is up close, and half of her hair on the side of her head is done in purple, and the other half is done in black. She's done in a light and dark purple. And check out her awesome eyebrows. She also has purple eyes with pink eyeshadow, and bright pink lipstick. And check out her awesome wings, they're made of bones, and she has a matching belt. She's wearing a strapless top done in purple, and it has light purple fire designs on the front. Her leg warmers are done in pink, and they're laced up at the front. And they have these cool flame designs at the back. Her cutie mark is a star constellation done in white. And her tail is also really cool, it's done in a light purple. Okay guys, that comes the end of my review for the Frightmares from Monster High, and I think my favourite would have to be Ari, but let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite, and until next time, thank you again for watching, love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you same place, same time, tomorrow.